there's a unique geographical feature in the Middle East known as a wadi. A wadi is a dry riverbed that fills up with water only during heavy rains. So you could have a day with blue skies, sunshine, and all of a sudden the rains come and a wave, a wall of water rushes into the wadi and sweeps away everything that's in its path. Sheep learn this the hard way. Shepherds learn this the hard way as oftentimes their sheep get swept away. I believe this context of the wadi helps us understand a parable that Jesus told. It comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Pick it in verse 24. Listen to this. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine, Jesus says, and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down. The streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet that house did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand in the wadi. The rain came down and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house. And it fell with a great crash. So, the sand. Building a house on the sand. You know, I feel as if right now this coronavirus threat is a lot like a storm. And I feel like sometimes my house is in the middle of the wadi on the sand. And, and really it comes down to two things. I'm building my life on the hope of cash and comfort. I find myself worrying about money and about income, about resources. I find myself worried about the, the lifestyle I've grown accustomed to. Plenty of food in my belly, great house to live in, all those sorts of things. I'm sure you can resonate with this. But that is like building house on sand. Whenever I'm thinking about cash and worrying about comfort, I'm finding myself building a life, building my house, so to speak, on the sand in the middle of the wadi. Now, how do you know if you're building your life on, on cash and comfort? Well, sure sign, I believe, is this. Whenever we feel fearful, whenever we feel anxious, that is a good sign that we just might be building our house on the sand, on, on cash and comfort. There's a question that I want to put before us, and that question is this. Is your life built on the rock of Christ Jesus. He is the rock. Listen, no one in their right mind in the Middle East would build their house in the middle of a wadi in the sand. They would build their house on a rock, a high place. Jesus Christ is that rock. So let me tell you, if you find yourself anxious, fearful, trapped in, in placing your hope and building your life on cash and comfort, you are not alone. Here's what we can do. The scriptures give us instruction. The book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6 says this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. You want to build your life on the rock? You want to return to the rock today? A great way to do that is through prayer. Prayers of thanksgiving, prayers of faith, prayers of hope. May you, my friends, build your life on the rock of Christ Jesus.